Good day, friends. My name is Joe Poke, and welcome to Space Engine. So, uh, I wanted to make this video. I don't know if anybody's going to watch it, but I wanted to make this video because I feel like this uh, game, if you want to call it that, doesn't really get enough attention. And it's so awesome and I wanted to you know share it with people that may not have heard of it so I just want to do some exploring maybe I'll set up some goals uh, in a few but I for right now I just want to go around exploring and basically if you for those of you that don't know space engine is a universe sandbox which you can go literally anywhere that we know of and that we definitely don't know of and it makes stuff up eventually but uh, we can actually go to any galaxy that we've discovered, and of course all the stars and planets are not necessarily really there, but it's it's still really cool that just the, the scale and sheer size of this game. Like I said, it's not really a game, it's more of just a sandbox because, you know, there's no real objective, there's no gameplay mechanics or anything like that. But that's why I want to make this video, because supposedly they're going to actually make this uh, into a game if they get enough funding. Um, which would be really, really cool. Like they would have like spaceships and like planetary uh, buildings. But yeah, so right now we're on we're at Earth. Uh, that's our sun right there. It's a yellow dwarf. If we click on it, you get all the information in the upper left. Uh, and we can go to any of these stars. So these are all stars right now. Uh, some of them might be planets. Yeah, there's Venus, hot desert. Um, so like the brighter ones are most likely planets. The uh, the planets are are bright. I and mean, if you look over there, that's Andromeda. You know, our neighboring galaxy. Which is pretty cool. So let's click on one of these random stars and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Nah, it's boring. Let's look for one with a lot of planets. So more interesting. Alright, orange bright giant. Let's see what we got. So these are all the planets in this particular system. Nothing with life. Uh, you can find planets with life. Obviously, if you land on the planet, there's no like animals walking around, but it's uh that that could potentially happen in the future if it gets enough funding, so. Definitely go to their website and donate if you like this, because I'll, I'll leave a, description, a link in the description. So we can go to any of these planets in this system, and we'll go to this uh, scorched desert. And you press G, and it just takes you there on this beautiful ride among the stars. Also, the music in this game is really, really good. It like changes depending on where you go. It'll probably change when I land on this, uh, or when I go to this planet. It'll probably you know switch up a little bit. All right, here we are. And there goes the music. <laughs> so this is just a random planet that we found. And the coolest part, I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but the coolest part about Space Engine is that you can actually land on these planets and it will randomly generate the terrain. Oh, look, here's a volcano. Let's check this out. Oh, this is a dense little atmosphere in the sky. So we have landed on this planet. Whoa. Look at that. Look at all the, uh, what do you call them? Like the solar radiation and whatnot coming off of that star. Yeah, so here's lava from the uh, volcano. If we let it render in a little bit, it will clarify. But um, my favorite thing to look for in, on planets is mountains, because the way they render mountains, it always looks really good. Granted, most of the time they look similar. Um, like different, different mountain ranges on different planets will look oddly similar but it's still really interesting to see look at this little moon whoa tiny little guy and what else is cool is everything is actually happening on a time like the time is actually moving right now so if we speed up time you can see that things start to rotate and if we uh, right now, I'm locked onto this uh, this moon here, and that's why it's rotating. It looks like this thing's rotating around that, but it's not obviously. Um, if we really zoom out to the star, you can see all the planets rotating around the star. Check that out. I never really noticed that uh, when you speed up time, the the flares and stuff will actually come out of the sun. That's pretty cool. I don't know what I just did, but uh, yeah, you get the point. So let's reduce, let's go back to normal time. <clears throat> and let's go find somewhere else. Let's try to find somewhere with life. That's 
interesting. It's, it's interesting, but it's not really any different from any other planet, except for the fact that it, it has life. It'll just say it has life. Alright, so upon clicking on a bunch of stars, I found one that says, Nine planets, one with life. So, let's go here. Let's just see what it looks like first. Alright, good, it's a Terra. It's really boring when you go to an, uh, it's called an Oceana, when you have, like, an Oceana planet with life. It's, it kind of sucks, to be honest, because there's no, um, it's just one big ocean, exactly what it sounds like. And it's not like you can see fish or anything like that, so it's just a big ocean with clouds most of the time. And it's, uh, it's quite boring, but this one looks pretty interesting. Terras are usually, uh, pretty cool to see. Because they have, like, uh, mountains and lakes and stuff like that. Yeah, a Terra is like Earth, basically. I didn't really clarify that, but yeah, a Terra is, is an Earth-like planet. This one is a warm Terra. 191 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow. Oh yeah, and by the way, I'm sorry if you guys are watching in a different country, but I have it set to uh, Imperial and Fahrenheit and whatnot like that because it, it was it defaulted to uh, you know the metric system, which I can totally understand, and I can I, I get the metric system. Don't get me wrong, but I it's just easier for me to take in the scale of everything when it's on Imperial for me. I'm sorry, the atmosphere is a little bit thin. It's actually very thin. Let's see if we can find an interesting mountain range. Alright. There we go. So now we're below the atmosphere and the clouds. I don't know what that line is, but it's probably just a mistake. <laughs> so yeah, as if we sit here for long enough, you'll see the mountain start to just click into place. And clarify. It reminds me a lot of that game that's coming out soon, uh, No Man's Sky, which I am really looking forward to. But this is basically No Man's Sky without the game elements. It's just the randomly generated planets and terrain and whatnot. It's really cool. So yeah, the mountains are now pretty much clarified. So if we zoom out there, they'll stay like that for a little bit. I think this was made by like one guy, by the way. So this is... It's quite impressive. What, also, what I can do also is uh, I can turn on airplane mode, or like flight mode, and it just smooths everything out. I use this for like recording montages, I guess, <laughs> and stuff like that, because it's just pretty. Just flying through the uh, terrain. Hang on a second, I just noticed something. This one looks active. Let's go to this gas giant for a sec. It's weird, because it looks like it's like moving in the thumbnail. I guess it's not. Anyway, here's a planet with rings. The other thing that's cool is uh, when you go really close to the rings, you can get right on top of these rings. And the coolest part, it gets a little trippy. And the coolest part is I'm not moving the camera at all right now. This, this, that's just the rotation of the rings. And they're moving. <laughs> if you get too close to the rings, they'll just start to fade out and go black. But yeah, this is just the ring's natural motion. I am not moving my mouse at all. Gorgeous. It's it's a, honestly, if if people say that this game is not beautiful, they're in, absolutely insane. It's incredible. You, I could do this for hours. <laughs> Just exploring different worlds, landing on alien planets. What's this? Hot desert moon. It's also really cool to land on these and look up. Usually it's cooler when they have an atmosphere. Yeah, this one does have an atmosphere. So you look up and you see this gigantic gas giant. It's like Avatar with Pandora. You can actually go there. I don't know how. I don't know how to find that. But there's actually a place called Pandora in this game. And it's just a Terra planet with life with a, orbiting around a big gas giant, like a, a Jupiter-like planet, just like the movie. 
I, did, I had no idea that that was a real place, but apparently it is. This is like screenshot worthy, it's so nice. Yeah, I'm gonna go back because I want to see like a planet setting. Let this focus in. Look at that. Look at that. Could you imagine if our planet was rotating around a gas giant? God, that would be fantastic. Boom. That could be used as a wallpaper easily. Beautiful. So, now that we found a planet with life, let's find... I want to find like a Tatooine type system, like with uh, two suns and like a desert planet. I found one once before, I took a screenshot. Um, I'll put it up on the screen right now. Yeah, so if you can see that, it's uh, it was pretty cool. You can find them all the time. Like with uh, binary systems, what they're called is uh, are super common. Like if I click on these for enough, you'll you'll see one eventually. And I said that, and now I'm not gonna find one, which is just my damn luck. Of course I won't. That's just the way life works. There's all these giants. I don't know what all this means. Like I don't know why the giants. Whoa! I haven't seen this before. Look at that. A quadruple system. That's four stars. That's crazy. Two whites. Are they, is, it, is it four whites? Wow. I kind of want to go here just to see how close they are. So, wow, wait. Oh, wait, I think I get it. This is crazy. It's two binary systems. So two two star systems orbiting around each other. That is insane. Oh, wait, where are these two? Yeah, there they are. Two two star systems orbiting around each other. I don't think I don't know if I can speed this up enough to the point where it will look like that. No, they're too they're too bright. I don't think I can do that. Their brightness is crazy. That's crazy though. Wow. I've never seen that before. A quadruple system. That's pretty insane. Anyway, back to the matter at hand. These are all giants. I'm moving to a different part of the galaxy. I'm sorry. Yeah, as you can see, I am moving through the Milky Way galaxy like it's nothing. Yeah, so, if you saw the thing at my speed right now, 1,000, I'm traveling at a little over a thousand light years a second right now, which is absolutely insane. Oh, by the way, did I mention that this is free? <laughs> yeah, so, this is all free, which is just insane. Alright, now maybe we can find... It's a triple. Oh, it's got life. A triple and one with life. That's rare. Usually triples don't have any pl many planets or none at all. A warm Terra. Let's see what this one's like. Let's see if we can actually see the different stars. Where are the stars at? Alright, well I can see two of them. Unless that's a planet. That's a planet. So maybe if I get into the atmosphere you can see them? Sometimes that's the case. So you go into the atmosphere and you can start to see... Two different stars. Nope. They're bunched up in that big ball, I guess. This is a nice planet, though. Look at that. Yeah, they're, they're, I don't know. This one's probably not going to be too great. Two Titans. That's interesting. Yeah, usually when they're white, they're not... Oh, look at that. That's, that's actually not too bad. There's no desert planets, unfortunately. There might be one of a moon. Yeah, here we go. Let's see what this looks like. Whoa. You gotta love a planet with rings. Wow, that ring... Dude, these rings are dense. Look at that. Holy crap. That's pretty crazy. Landing on these and looking up is always crazy. Just look at that. 
imagine if Earth had rings. It would be the craziest thing to see. Just looking up and seeing this gigantic arch every night. Even during the day, you'd probably see it. What am I talking about? All right, where are the suns at? Oh, look at that. They're perfect. This isn't exactly the desert I was looking for, but you get the point. See, look at that. Two suns. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you want. I don't care. Um, it doesn't bother me if you don't. You can leave. It's fine. Whatever. Um, but thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video if I make another video, which I probably will. So stay tuned, and uh, yeah, goodbye guys.